That's why Ryan chose to do it this way. This is Wheeler, he loves his uncle. He didn't want to take any chances, not after the way he lost Sheikh Zaidi. You know how much he blamed himself for that one, don't you? I know that, but still... Well, look, Ryan thinks the only way to keep Alex safe is to do this. As long as the person who shot him thinks he's still dead, he's not going to try it again. And that's why he's here under an assumed name. Shelley didn't even know it was Alex until just now. This is Wheeler. He's safe here, believe me. Am I getting through to you at all? Yes. I believe Ryan told you that. But it was so cruel. So unnecessary. Unnecessary? To keep the truth from me. Do you have any idea what I've been through? I thought my husband was gone forever. <laughs> my life was over. It wasn't fair. It wasn't right. It was inhuman of Ryan to treat me that way. Mrs. Wheeler, Ryan did not make this decision lightly. I know, we discussed it. Oh, 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 that, that's supposed to explain it. You discussed it. Thank you. And then decided to let me suffer all the grief of believing that my husband was dead? No, Ricky. It wasn't right. Why lie to me? Ryan doesn't think that that I was involved in trying to hurt Alex, oh, does he? No, no, of course not. That was never an issue. But I do think that he had to do what he did. How is that possible? Because of your grief. What? That doesn't make sense. Mrs. Wheeler, if you had known that Alex was alive, would you have been able to fake your grief? Fake it enough to convince whoever it was who shot him that he was completely out of his reach now? I don't know. Obviously, Ryan didn't think I could, but that's Ryan. He's, he's obsessed with security. Ricky, you saw what it was doing to me. How could you have agreed to this charade? Because I failed my duty, that's why. I didn't protect him at the wedding. I almost let him get killed, and that's not going to happen again. Nobody's going to get a second chance while I'm breathing. And nobody's going to put Alex at risk, either. Not even you, Mrs. Wheeler. Me? Shelley, make sure that Mrs. Wheeler has whatever she needs to be comfortable while she's here. How long will that be? I don't know. At least until Ryan gets back. And he can give the orders. Shelley, I'll be back in a little while. Lock the door. You too. Mrs. Wheeler, Ricky's only doing what he thinks is best. I'm not going to second guess him. All he's thinking of is your husband's safety. Why don't you just trust him? What choice do I have? I love you so much. Please, come back to me.
Would you care for a drink, sir? Oh, uh, yes, a uh, martini, please. Uh, make it a double, all right? Uh, miss, uh, how long before the first stopover? Uh, I want to make a phone call home. We should touch down Hawaii in about two hours. Why? Going home for Christmas? Everyone else on the plane seems to be. <sighs> That's right. Everybody wants to be home for Christmas, that's for sure. I might even make it this year. Be right back with your drink. I wish there was someone else to do this for me. I almost wish it didn't have to be done at all. Ginny? Ginny, my love. How am I gonna tell you? 